Hi, this is Matt Hausman, and this is the third video in a series of uh, videos around Postgres replication. Uh, this video will be focused on installing all the Postgres artifacts onto the two VMs that we've created. We've created one for the master node and one for the slave node. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'll be using sudo apt-get install Postgres and the contribution packages as well as Emacs because I'm an Emacs user. Part of the Postgres installation is to create a Postgres user. So let's S U into that. All right, then we can run um, the client. And we're in the Postgres database right now. Uh, let's create a test database. Next thing to do is to create a role or, or a user, uh, it's synonymous, and this is the syntax, create role, test underscore user, that's my user I'm creating um, with, I'm going to make this a super user, uh, password is the same as the, the username, test underscore user, and I'm going to grant login. Okay, so we can exit out of this now, control D. Um, exit out back to the Ubuntu user and then I can type in psql user test user host is local host and the database will be test db the database I just created okay and so we can see here that I'm connected to the test db we can see if there's any tables in there and there aren't at this point. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do this for the slave node exactly what I did here on the master, which is to install the Postgres software artifacts, uh, make sure that I can attach over to the Postgres user, um, run psql, and then create a new user called test user. So once we've done that, then we can make sure that the machines can talk to one another and I will demonstrate how to do that in the fourth video. So again, this is Matt Hausman. Thanks for watching this video.